Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday Talks with the Green Bay Doulas. I'm Emily Jacobson. So this week I wanted to walk you through what a C-section looks like. Now, obviously all hospitals are different. They are not created equal. All of them have their own set of protocols, but this is generally what you can expect with a C-section. So depending on if it is planned or not, um, what you would do is some people have uh, you once you arrive or before you have arrived if it is planned um, wash in surgical soap so they would rub you down um, you would just take a shower there or beforehand um, with surgical soap some do some don't but it's an option and our job is about letting you know all the things um, so then after that they may shave you um, I like to think of it as a spa service. The other spa service they offer is um, they will put these um, long kind of white tube things on your legs, which massage your legs to help with blood clots. Again, another spa treatment. I'm about the silver lining. Um, you'll have to take out any piercings that you may have. Um, and uh, it's kind of the thing I want to let people know about is it's kind of like organized chaos. Everybody knows what they have to do, and you're kind of just at the center of it, taking it all in. They will also have you, so there's a lot of busy bodies, but it's okay. This is what they do. Um, they have you drink this shot, and it tastes like a really salty, like my mouth's salivating, like thinking about it, because um, I've had a C-section myself. Um, they have you drink this uh, acid neutralizer, and it looks like a coffee cream container kind of a thing, um, and shoot it like a shot. Do not sip it, because it tastes like a super salty sweet tart. Not good. So just down. Down it goes. Um, and then uh, if you have already received an epidural, they would just up your epidural. If you had not received an epidural, you'll receive a spinal once you're back in the OR area. So that's something to also know. Anesthesia will also come in and talk to you. They might ask you to like open your mouth and stick out your tongue. Um, they just want to make sure everything would be good. If they were need to intubate or something, they just want to make sure everything's on the up and up, right? So then um, from there, your partner would also be given um, scrubs to put on. Um, and you would have your little blue hairnet per se. Um, and they would then say like, all right, we're ready. You'll sign your forms, things like that. Once you're down to the OR, I think this is what people don't realize is that you will keep going through those OR doors, but your partner will not. They will stand outside. Sometimes there's a chair for them to sit on. Sometimes they're just standing there waiting um, and they'll finish prepping you. So like I said, if you haven't had your epidural yet, you'll receive a spinal, which is just a much more concentrated, um, not so much a long-term running type of, of, of an epidural, but it's the same premise. Um, the one thing that's consistent is that the nurse that was your nurse before, she also goes back with you. So she kind of becomes your person. Um, and so you'll sit in the OR. Things to remember on OR, it's very bright, it's very cold, um, very sterile. They'll have you get up on a table um, to receive that uh, spinal block and then they'll lay you down you're kind of on little, like not like a drastic tilt by any means but you're on a little bit of a tilt just so you're aware and then usually they'll have either a blue sometimes clear curtain um that separate separates the the um, sterile environment there we go um when it's time and everything's ready and everyone's in place that's when they'll go get your partner so once your partner comes into the or you can expect a baby within two to four minutes they may have actually already started. And they have to go through seven layers of your skin, including pulling your ab muscles apart and then continuing on. Um, and then from there, it's up to you to talk to your doctor about the options beforehand. Some people want to hear that play-by-play -play of like the head's out, the shoulder's out, your baby's born, just like a vaginal birth. Other people really want the play-by-play -play of like, I'm starting the cuts now, here's where I am, just so, because you can't see anything, um, just so you feel like you're still really part of this, because it is still your body. Um, and anesthesia will be sitting right ahead of you, and then your partner's on the other side of you. Usually you have one arm that's down, that where um, that's where the IV is, so anesthesia can push any medications they need, but the other arm usually is free. Again, we can talk about family-centered cesareans all day long in um, that sometimes they can play music, sometimes they can drop that sterile field once the baby's been born so you can see your baby right away. Um, usually though, more often times than not, um, 
NICU is required to be in the OR for all C-sections. Just to look over baby, make sure everything looks good. After that, they'll give baby right to you and they will do skin to skin. Now, something to remember, I'm gonna grab my prop here, um, is when they give you baby, remember you're laying flat, so they're giving you baby like this. So it's very hard to kind of see your baby. My tip for the partners is to hold baby and hold baby so that they can position baby so when you're laying down, you can still see your baby, okay? After you give birth, whether it's a vaginal birth or cesarean birth, you're still going to have a rush of emotions and adrenaline and um, you gave birth, hormones that are just coursing through you. So you will feel very shaky. Sometimes you could feel nauseous. Um, so it's really about making sure you have the support systems and communicating as you can to your partner, to anesthesia, that maybe you don't feel so good. Um, and then usually it takes about 10, 15, 20 minutes to close up. After that, you and baby go for a ride back to your room. Obviously every hospital is different, so check and see. Do you recover in your room or do you recover in a separate area? Um, so that's kind of the quick rundown of what to expect with a C-section. And I hope that gives you a little bit of information if you were to ever have uh, a surgical birth of your own. Have a great day, guys. Bye.